I'm Phyllis Woodson, registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator at the EVMS Stralitz Diabetes Center. In honor of Diabetes Awareness Month, Eastern Virginia Medical School's Stralis Diabetes Center has teamed up with Todd Jurek of Todd Jurek's Bistro to create some diabetes-friendly recipes for the holidays. Hi everyone, I'm Todd Jurek at Todd Jurek's Bistro. Welcome to our kitchen today. We're doing a uh, coho salmon. It's looking very, it's looking beautiful this time of year. Um, it's pepper seared, so basically what we're doing is doing some fresh cracked pepper. How much pepper depends on you, but coat the fish well, top and bottom. Press it in a little bit here with your hands. Todd starts with a hot pan and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, about a half a tablespoon. The pan's very hot. We go skin side down, and we throw that in there. Next, Todd explains his own version of couscous for this dish. While that's going on, we're going to make the couscous. And what we do, it's basically, it's just a play on words. It's uh, cauliflower masquerading as couscous. Just take the cauliflower, which we broke up into small florets, and you put it right in the dry, you don't put nothing in it, it's just cauliflower, right in the robicou. Pulse the cauliflower until it's coarse, resembling couscous. Uh, in another skillet, what we do is take just a touch, again, of olive oil. We add a little bit of red onion. Todd mixes in about a tablespoon of red onion. Next, a pinch of his signature spices. Grillman spice, which is coriander, cumin, cardamom and a little turmeric. Then he adds the cauliflower. You want to keep it, we like it al dente here at the bistro. We don't want it really to be mushy. After a quick saute, add in about two tablespoons of fresh chicken stock. We have a chicken stock that is uh, low in fat and sodium that we make here at the bistro. However, you can uh, find a very good product at the grocery store that's low in fat and sodium as well. To top off the couscous cauliflower, Todd adds a pinch of fresh herbs. In this case, parsley and chives. Okay, we're now going to plate the dish. Here we have our cauliflower couscous, which we're finishing off with a uh, sun-dried uh, cranberries, which are lightly, put a light smoke on them so it has a little smokiness to it. It also adds color and makes it very festive as well. Plate the cauliflower couscous, then the salmon. We serve that skin side up so you get that nice crustiness to it. And to garnish with a little zing, Todd adds a mix of fennel, parsley, tarragon, and some orange slices. How beautiful. And then a simple uh, uh, fresh herb oil. We just do a little drizzle of that on the plate. And there you have it. Pepper seared salmon with cauliflower couscous. To download this recipe and to find other good information about diabetes, please go to evms.edu forward slash diabetes.